Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Liz Wade, and I'm Colin Lowther. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. Vu Nyak Ang stands on a performance stage. Bright lights shine on her from above. Hundreds of people are watching her. They are interested in her beautiful clothing. She is wearing a kind of traditional Vietnamese clothing called an ao zai or ao yai. Nyok Ahn walks slowly across the stage. Her ao zai moves gently side to side. This is because it is made of soft silk, a light flowing material. The ao zai is two pieces of clothing. The bottom part is loose trousers or pants. The top is a long fitted shirt or gown. Nyok Ahn's trousers are white. Her gown is a golden yellow color. It covers her arms down to her wrists, and it fits tightly around her chest and neck. It is long and hangs. Almost to the ground, the gown is split at the sides. It opens on the sides from her waist to the floor. As Nyok Ahn walks across the floor, she looks as if she is floating. On that night. Vu Nhak Ang won the 2012 Miss Vietnam Ao Zai competition. The judges thought she looked the most beautiful in her Ao Zai. It is a great honor to achieve the title Miss Ao Zai. This is because the Ao Zai is more than just traditional Vietnamese clothing. It is a symbol of the history and beauty of the Vietnamese culture and people. Today's spotlight is on the Vietnamese Ao Zai. The Ao Zai has a long history in Vietnam. Experts believe forms of the Ao Zai have existed for hundreds of years. It is part of Vietnamese identity, but that does not mean it has stayed the same. The people making Ao Zais have used their designs to react to changes in. Culture. At different times, French or Chinese culture has influenced Ao Zai designs. Sometimes people changed their designs to be more like other cultures. At other times. People designed Ao Zais to show that Vietnam was a free and independent country. During the 1930s, one of the most famous designers was Nguyen Cat Thuong. He was also known as Le Mur in French. He made a new design that was particularly for women. He was influenced by some of the new French clothing, but 
What he designed was not French. Instead, it was a new, modern version of the Alzai. Before, the Alzai was loose and plain, but the new design was more fitted. This modern Alzai became very popular in parts of Vietnam. From 1960 to 1975, after 1975, Vietnamese women did not wear the Ao Zai as often. The Vietnamese economy was struggling. Most people did not think paying for a nice Ao Zai was necessary. However, in the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Alzai became popular again. In 1989, a Ho Chi Minh City newspaper began the first Miss Alzai competition. Sixteen thousand people attended the competition. But this was only the beginning of the Alzai's new popularity. From Ho Chi Minh City, Miss Alzai competitions spread around the world. They went to places like Long Beach, California, in the United States, and the city of Toronto in Canada. Today. There are many countries that have large populations of Vietnamese immigrants. When these people moved out of Vietnam, they brought the Ao Zai with them. Originally. Each woman's Ao Zai was made just for her. Ao Zai makers sewed each Ao Zai using only a sharp needle, thread, and her hands. A woman visited her Ao Zai maker many times to make sure her Ao Zai fit perfectly. Today, factories produce Ao Zais in large numbers. These Ao Zais are sold in Vietnam and around the world. The export of the Ao Zai has influenced global clothing designers as far away as Paris, France, and New York City. Even now, the Ao Zai continues to change. Women want different things from their clothing. They want to keep the Ao Zai, but they want to react to changes in global clothing as well. Still, wearing the Ao Zai has special meaning. Kim Lai Yingling is a Vietnamese American writer. On her website, she explained what the Ao Zai meant to her as a child. I remember when I was a little girl. I would walk into my mom and dad's rooms. Behind the door hung long pieces of fabric. I knew these beautiful pieces of material were going to be made into outsides. I remember staring up at my mom when she wore her outside. I would think how beautiful she looked. I could not wait. Until I could have an outside 
for myself. We asked Vietnamese Spotlight listeners when Vietnamese women wear the ao zai. Listener Cong Le explained. Women usually wear the ao zai during official holiday celebrations. Listener Trin Huang said. I think all women in Vietnam wear the ao zai at least one time when they get married. And Nguyen Tran told us When I studied in high school, I wore the ao zai six days each week. In Vietnam, Women wear many different colors of ao zai. Usually, younger women wear light colors, and older women wear darker or bolder colors. Spotlight listener Tuan Ang Nguyen explained. Every different outside color and design shows the beauty and character of the person wearing it. For example, students wear a white outside. This shows purity, innocence, and young beauty. A woman may wear a pink outside at her wedding when she marries. This shows graceful beauty. The Ao Zai continues to be popular in Vietnam, and people in Vietnam are proud to share the Ao Zai with people around the world. As Tuan An writes, The Ao Zai is the pride of the nation. It is the pride of every woman. Every time she puts it on. Have you ever seen an ao zai? Does your country have any special clothing? Tell us about it. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net. You can also comment on Facebook at facebook.com slash spotlight radio. The writers of this program were Robin Basselin and Adam Navis. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Vietnam's Beautiful Ao Zai. Visit our website to download our free official app for Android and Apple devices. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye!